aware of. We had an a, uh, aircraft accident here approximately uh, 7 a.m. this morning that involved a cargo plane that uh, apparently uh, hit the runway and then the wing sheared off and then it ended up uh, over the hill here at the airport. Uh, we're attempting to, uh, in fact, the, the uh, people in the plane have been recovered at this time and are being transmo transported <coughs> to the uh, medical examiner's office and our police are following up on that aspect of it. Uh, we're still waiting on uh, FISDO to uh, examine the debris field on the runway in order to uh, uh, further their investigation. And then once that's completed, we plan to uh, make repairs to the runway and open the airport here, hopefully within the next uh, couple of hours. That's our plans for right now. I and know you were- was done to the airport runway? Uh, there was a few gouges, uh, it appeared that the, uh, plane uh, landed a little awkwardly and uh, caused some damage to the runway. I know you were saying that, you know, the, the National Transportation Safety Board is investigating and you can't, you know, say what caused this, but can you talk to us about some of the observations you made surrounding this incident? Uh, yeah, uh, the winds were calm, uh, about 10 miles uh, visibility uh, from uh, Looking at it, it looks like it may have landed a little sideways instead of level at, at, on the runway as it should have. Terry, was there a fire? Not not at this time, no. Not that we're aware of. There's no fire. Uh, we have a, a diesel of, or the fuel leak, and uh, that's being contained, and we made the proper notification to the water company in case there had been an issue. But uh, as of right now, there's been no issue with the uh, fuel. How often do these planes come in here? Is that daily or a few times a week? I think two or three times a week from Louisville. And you've been able to, I think, determine that the pilot and the co-pilot are from West Virginia? They're, they're based here locally out of Yeager Airport. They're badged here and uh, we'll wait till the family's been notified before the names could be released. They are based out of here, you said? Yes, yes ma'am. Do we have any idea how long they've been, how much experience they have? Uh, not at this time, I do not. Commissioner, Commission President Carper, you heard some observations too. Can you add to anything what Terry said? Yes, well, when you have a, something like this, you understand the federal government does the actual investigation. But we've observed the airplane landing. We've observed the condition of the field. And it is obvious that this aircraft hit what they call the threshold of the landing area. So it wasn't a fault of the runway. It wasn't the fault of the weather. And it doesn't appear to be anything other than some type of a problem with the aircraft. There is an unconfirmed report from a person in Yaki, West Virginia, that she heard an aircraft making a very loud noise. She's called that in, but when you look at the runway, when you look at the gouge marks, when you we know what the weather was, uh, but it will be up to the FAA. It's a tragedy, but I, I want to commend the first responders, the program. We declared a state of emergency about one minute after the airplane crashed. Uh, there was an amazing response from the city of Charleston, Kanawha County, uh, the Air Guard, the Army Guard. Uh, the plan worked very well. Unfortunately, this was a terrible crash. Uh, the airplane obviously came in sideways, came in hot, struck the uh, runway early on on the threshold, and then rolled and went over the hill. Was it coming in from, I want to get straight where it was, was it, so it went off to the left? Was it coming in this way, or which way would it be coming in? It, it would have been doing an approach over the city of Charleston towards the five end, uh, that five end of the runway. Uh, uh, you'd line up downtown and then come in that way or start down in Lincoln County sometimes on approach. So and it went over towards the interstate. That's what I call it, the interstate right. side. It's over towards the Elk River side. Mm -hmm. Right. How, how many feet down do you think it is? Any idea? It's pro approximately 150 feet down the hill. Um, you can't really see the aircraft from the <coughs> runway or from the edge of the runway. Uh, there's so much brush in the area, but first responders were able to get down. They rappelled down and uh, located the aircraft, even though you couldn't see it from the top of the hill. Uh, we have notified the West Virginia American Water Company because there is a large amount of avgas or fuel in the area. We don't anticipate it being a problem, but that is part of common sense. Are you, how, how, and the NTSB, you know, they don't want a lot of the place obviously compromised. You can, you can remove, how much can you remove and get the operation of the airport back going before and kind of stay where you need to stay? 
Well, they're out there right now doing their evaluation, so there's some uh, small debris on the runway we believe we'll be able to remove later. Uh, what's on the side of the runway, we may be able to issue a note them to the pilots uh, and uh, just note them that out, that, that that debris is on the side of the runway, but it wouldn't affect any landings or takeoffs. Will you be releasing at all the video of this plane coming in from... No. Okay. So we figured... And, and the, plane, the plane is based here? The, yes, the, it's the based here. The plane is based here? And, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Right. Can you describe again how the first responders were able to get to the plane? Okay, Mayor. So that's, uh, uh, sure, they they basically came up the our uh, hall road that we uh, used to uh, uh, work around here and uh, end up going over the uh, area where we placed the uh, field product from uh, that we removed off Keystone Drive earlier and uh, went out that way and uh, through the woods basically from the bottom. It's full of briars. It's very rough. Can you uh, start over again? Sure. The area is full of briars. It's very rough. We have crews now with chainsaws. They're going to cut the area out so they can get back in to do some other things. But the first uh, thing to do was to get paramedics on the scene. So we saw to it that the Kanawha County paramedics were there, Charleston firefighter paramedics, and certainly our emergency services department. The idea was to see if we could save a life. And it was very heroic. They went in, really not been able to see where they were. Part of the problem here was not knowing where the actual crash was. We were able to tell where the crash was frankly, by smelling the fuel. I apologize that this has already been asked, but do we know if there's uh, fuel leaking into a creek we had heard? Yes, there has been a fuel loss, it's, uh, it's, but it doesn't appear to be serious out of an abundance of precaution. The airport did the right thing and notified the West Virginia American Water Company. They're aware of it, and they're taking all precautions. We do not anticipate any problem with that. And you were also saying, you know, because it's so wooded, I think there were ATVs going out, uh, repelling. Can you just talk to us about the tactics used? Well, to try and reach this just took manpower. This took people going down over the hill. Uh, we had uh, several paramedics, and they went in. The idea was to get the medics in and the firefighters to get to the uh, crash to see if someone was alive, if they could help them, and that's what they did. We've also notified the Western DEP to come here to uh, inspect the site and to help us. Uh, try to main, uh, maintain the scene as far as any fuel. Uh, our goal was not for any fuel to get into the creek, so we have put out uh, pads, absorbent pads, and things of that nature and booms to try to stop uh, any fuel from getting to any uh, waterway. We will reopen the airport as soon as we have permission from the federal government. Uh, they have to inspect the runway. They have to approve uh, uh, allow things to be taken off the scene more photographed, that's entirely up to them. Uh, the airport director will do exactly what they tell him to do. The airport's closed and will stay closed until the federal government allows us to open it up. We hope that will be sooner than later. We've heard it could be as late as Saturday. Have you heard any word? Of I don't think that's true, okay. but we don't know that. That's up to them. Okay. Anything else you want to get out there? Our goal is to try to get the airport back open today, certainly, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get that accomplished for the traveling public. Thank, Thank you guys so much. much. Thank you all. Appreciate it. We could arrange we'll have an update for you guys on 13 News at noon. Um, we're going to be getting more information throughout the morning, so we'll bring you the latest on 13 News at noon with myself, Jack Keene, and Brian Hughes. Okay, have a safe Friday.